Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Uh, today we are talking about breast lesions. Uh, we were talking about uh, different nodules in the breast. What can be the cause? What can be the uh, source of it? What should you do? And today we are talking about one of the types of uh, nodes and lumps inside the breast, uh, which are uh, breast cysts. So, let's get started. What is breast cyst? This is the enlarged duct of the breast. It enlarges, it accumulates the liquid inside and it looks like a sac full of some liquid. They can be just painless and the woman can find it just by palpating the breast or by self-examination or they can cause some discomfort or pain. We know that. Uh, these cysts occur more often in uh, reproductive age women and um, mostly at the age of 35 to 50 year old, year old and um, less fre frequently in uh, postmenopausal women. Uh, but uh, in postmenopausal women they are seen more often if they are taking hormonal replacement therapy. These are uh, female hormones uh, to improve the symptoms of menopause or to treat the osteoporosis. That means that these cysts are really connected to hormonal fluctuations, hormonal changes in female body. For example, they can be painful before menstruation uh, and they are very dependent on hormonal levels. That's why sometimes it may be necessary to check hormonal levels and to go to a gynecologist to have the consultation. Physical examination, just palpating the breast, won't tell us uh, is it cyst or is it fibroadenoma or something else. That's why it's important to do some uh, investigations. And uh, number one is ultrasound. Ultrasonography can help us to see this nodule and say, oh really, this is the sac uh, with fluid inside. There are several types of cysts uh, and depending on which type we find, we will choose different tactics. First one is simple cysts. It's just a sac with fluid without any um, suspicious features. Uh, we are not worried about the cysts. They don't increase the um, risk of uh, breast cancer. Uh, they don't need any treatment or uh, intake of hormones. Uh, they are very common. Cysts, uh, by the way, are very common. They are seen in more than one in three women during their life. And I would say they can be considered quite a normal finding. There are also some uh, clusters of microcysts or cysts with small septa, the small walls inside, uh, that, uh, that are considered to be totally not dangerous. There are other two types of cysts. A second type is complicated cyst, where we can see some not very clear uh, fluid inside. There is some something maybe floating inside or the walls are a little bit more thick and uh, there may be thicker septa inside and um, these cysts most often they are not dangerous also and uh, you need to see the, what, what the doctor ultrasound doctor writes in the end uh, he will write B rats 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 maybe uh, what does it mean? Uh, this means how does the uh, nodule look more benign or more uh, malignant, more cancerous. Uh, one means totally normal, two means benign. That means if uh, there is a complicated cyst, but the doctor writes BRATS2, don't need to worry too much. Uh, sometimes complicated cysts may be BRATS3. That means most likely it's benign, but still a little bit suspicious. Uh, in that case, we need to repeat ultrasound in half a year and then see. Sometimes it will become BRATS2 after half a year. That's, that means we don't need to worry a lot. Just one more ultrasound in half a year and that's it. Uh, sometimes it can stay BRATS3, still suspicious. Uh, in that case, we need to repeat it in half a year, in half a year, in half a year again and again, just to be sure that nothing is growing. There are also complex cysts that may have, uh, for example, it's a sac of fluid, but 
at the wall there is some nodule there, something more uh, thick, more dense. Or there are thick walls, or the septa inside uh, may be also quite thick. Uh, then we will be suspicious about it and we will need to do the biopsy. Uh, we take a special device with a thick needle and try to get this nodule inside or a pieces of uh, wall to see if there is any uh, atypical cell, uh, if, if there are any atypical cell or maybe an infant cancerous cell. Sometimes we need to do other investigations like uh, mammography, it's x-ray of breast or uh, MRI, magnetic resonance uh, investigation. When do we need to remove the fluid from the cyst with a needle? In simple cysts or in other cysts it's not really necessary, only if the cyst grows very fast and uh, we, it, it uh, causes some discomfort, some pain, then to relieve the pain we can do that. Sometimes the cyst never come back again and uh, sometimes they can come back again. So if there are any suspicious features, for example the cyst is just um, you know, Birat's too, uh, looking benign, but it does not, uh, after taking the fluid from inside, it does not collapse totally or maybe it grows back again very fast or there is a bloody fluid inside, then we need to do the uh, core biopsy with a big needle to see. That's why uh, at that uh, situation we may feel some suspicion. Most likely everything will be fine, but still we need to check it. What else can it be if it's not a cyst? It can be abscess. It's a cavity with some infected material or with pus. It can be hematoma. Again, uh, the blood accumulation, usually after trauma. Also after trauma there can be some uh, fat uh, necrosis, meaning the dead fat tissue after the punch uh, is accumulated. It may also cause some nodule inside the breast. Also it can be galactosyl. In breastfeeding women there is a sac filled with uh, milk, breast milk, uh, that uh, if the duct is clogged and the milk can't go out. And of course sometimes it can be uh, cancer, that's why we need to do efforts not to find it too late. But as you understand, in general, most likely it is something benign. And uh, most often we don't need to do any uh, biopsies or to remove the fluid. By the way, if the new cyst is formed after the age of 40, we also will feel a little bit suspicious and uh, will need to do the biopsy of the cyst. What are the risks of uh, breast cancer if the woman has cysts? If she has simple cysts, no worries, no problem. If it's complicated cyst but uh, Birat's too, uh, no problem. If the biopsy is taken and there are some atypical cells, they are atypical meaning they are looking not normal. The cells that are looking not normal, sometimes it may happen. Not during all biopsies it will happen, but during some. In such cases, there is a approximately 13% higher risk than general population of women to have uh, breast cancer. Not so much, but uh, also it's quite, a, quite an increase. And by the way, many cysts will disappear, approximately 70% will disappear within 5 years themselves. So, dear friends, no need to uh, be in a panic, just be calm. Remember that lumps in the breast is the usual finding, so just do ultrasound and talk to your doctor. Don't forget about phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens are in general good for breasts and they decrease the risks of breast cancer and sometimes may help during the treatment even of the uh, hormonally sensitive breast cancer. I'm talking about flaxseed or sesame or soy products, tofu, and uh, I talked about it in detail in the lecture on phytoestrogens uh, in breast cancer. That's all for today. I wish you good luck. God bless you. Bye-bye.